Okay. I'm just getting the vibes right right now. But today, we're going to talk about forgiveness. Okay. So, we are going to talk about forgiveness. And forgiveness is actually a, a whole process because... Um, some people think that forgiveness is returning back to that person or, uh, you know, the situation that you were in and it is not. Um, so I'm going to just read a little bit about, um, forgiveness. Um, forgiveness does not mean forgetting or condoning the wrongdoing, granting legal mercy or reconciling a relationship. You can forgive a person while in no way believing that their actions were acceptable or justified. On the other hand, simply saying the words, I forgive you, or accepting an apology is not forgiveness. In fact, forgiveness can occur without ever speaking to the wrongdoer. Forgiveness is an emotional change that occurs when the person, uh, sorry, forgiveness is an emotional change that occurs within the person who has been wronged. Now, um, one thing that I wanna talk about forgiveness is forgiveness is really um, forgiving yourself. It's not forgiving the person who, um, who did you wrong because then they will continue to, um, you know, do those actions to you. So I'm going to read what forgiveness is and what forgiveness isn't. Forgiveness is the decision to overcome pain that was inflicted by another person, letting go of anger, resentment, shame, and other emotions associated with an injustice, even though they are reasonable feelings, treating the offender with compassion, even though they were not entitled to it. And this is what forgiveness isn't. Forgiveness isn't reconciliation, repairing or returning to a relationship, it isn't forgetting the injustice, condoning or excusing the offender's behavior, granting legal mercy to the offender, and it also isn't letting go but wishing for revenge. And one thing about forgiveness is, like I said earlier, you really uh, it really comes when you forgive yourself. When you forgive yourself for even entertaining um, someone carrying that energy and someone um, being in that state of mind, you um, it, it makes you feel lighter because unfortunately, if someone is doing this to you, it's not an isolated incident and it's not their first time doing it at all. So this is something like, uh, this is a cycle for them. And um, some people have been so damaged in their lives and so, um, so beyond the point of coming back that, um, you know, hurting people is the only thing that they, that brings them joy. Unfortunately, there are people like that and they do prey on people. They, um, have like personas of kind of like, um, American Psycho, how he had that persona of like the perfect rich guy, uh, had the apartment, the women, everything, but, um, but he just loved killing people. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's one of those things where, where um, someone can be so psychologically damaged from their past that they really just do not care who they hurt, who they who they wrong. They just don't care because they're blinded by by their pain. And one thing you have to realize is that um, forgiving someone who doesn't give a fuck ain't gonna do shit for you. It's not going to do shit for you. And so what you have to do is forgive yourself for even entertaining someone in that energy. And once you release that pain that you have for yourself, once you release that um, that anger and that resentment that you have for yourself, you will start to feel lighter. You'll start to feel like um, at ease and you'll be able to start trusting yourself more and start trusting others more. So I'm going to read the four phases of forgiveness. The uncovering phase is number one. During the phase of forgiveness, you will improve your understanding of the injustice and how it has impacted your life. 
Number two is the decision phase. During the second phase, you will gain a deeper understanding of what forgiveness is and make the decision to choose or reject forgiveness as an option. Number three is the work phase. During the third work phase, you will start to understand the offender in a new way, which will allow positive feelings toward the offender and yourself. Now, necessarily, I don't believe in um, positive feelings towards uh, negative people, especially depending on the volume of the situation and um, just what exactly it was. I do not believe in, you know, Putting positivity, I, I'm not, I guess I'm not at that stage yet, so be it. Um, I do believe in um, giving every every ounce of my pain, my hurt that I felt from that person and giving it to God and letting God understand that, um, that uh, you know, the, the pain uh, hurts me, but it doesn't hurt them. So I tell God to hurt them in every way that, that you can because, you know, it, they didn't give a fuck about me because they, they did it to me over and over and over again, you know? It, so it's different when, um, I don't know, it's hard to have positive feelings um, towards someone that, that wronged you, you know? But all you can really think of is that, if, like I said before, if somebody is out here damaging people and um, psychologically, physically, um, um, spiritually, all of it. And um, if somebody's like that, they uh, have no soul, really. Like they, they're so far gone from uh, the human aspect of their, of their brain. And um, it's just something that you can just um, accept them for who they are and just stay away from them. That's really it. And number four is the deepening phase. During the final phase of forgiveness, you will further decrease the negative emotions associated with the injustice. You may find meaning in the experiences and recognize ways in which you can grow as a result. And one of those things that I want to talk about is um, um, recognizing ways you can grow because by me doing this this actually helps me because I get to help people as well as I'm learning and as I am you know growing and developing as a person and I am no longer entertaining um you know negative people negative energies like that and um no longer being put in or feeling like I have to put myself into negative situations in order to prosper and um one one of the main things that comes with forgiveness is the the act of letting go and the act of letting go is something that i use magic for because a lot of uh like like i said everything i said everything that i've been through in this town everything that that happened to me you can look back in the previous videos um and on my youtube channel i have them on my youtube channel as well um, just to get understanding if you don't know just so there you go but um the one thing about uh about forgiveness that i use magic for is um return to sender spells and also um uh giving all my problems to god like i said before because with a return to sender spell it it takes all the negative energy that's built up inside of you and that others may have put on you. Like say, um, you know, you're being bullied and people are consistently, um, you know, getting in the, in the seance circles and let's say they're getting in a seance circle, they have your page active and they're, everyone's just, just going at you, talking shit, talking shit, talking shit. Well, that energy is going to you, unfortunately, because uh, words have power. And when you get into groups like that and you start um, perpetuating um, uh, drama and start, you know, uh, just start the, the bullying going. Once you start doing all of that, uh, all that negative energy sticks to your person. There's power in a name and there's power through these apps as well. And um, one thing you can do to get all of that off of you is a return to sender spell. And you can also, um, uh, well, I'll, I'll explain return to sender spells for a little bit, just for those who don't know. A return to sender spell does exactly what it says. It returns 
the energy back to the source that you received it from. So what it does is it um, it gets all of that out of your aura, out out of your um, your mind, your spirit, your body, and it, it manifests itself into their life instead of your life. So. Like, uh, like I was saying before, words uh, have power. Words also uh, can be used to build people up and, des and destroy them. So while you are doing things like a return to sender spell, um, say phrases like, uh, like, I, like I said before, by giving all of your problems to God to handle, because God has a... a Omni omniscient view of everyone and God also knows you know your thoughts and your intentions as well and um, that's why I feel like giving God my problems instead of telling you know a random nigga on the street to handle it it has a more bigger effect because God knows uh, God just knows everything okay and um, with return to sender spells they are the most effective and the quickest, I, I feel, with return to sender spells. So one thing uh, to help with forgiveness magic-wise that you can do is actually um, do a self-love and self-healing spell for yourself as well. And as I you know, move, move into this healing journey and everything. I will be showing you guys how to do it because I understand that not everybody knows how to go about incorporating magic into their, um, their healing. So I will be more open about it just because I've been doing it for the year, <laughs> year straight, um, just trying to get all the negativity, uh, off of me. So um, I will be continuing to share um, all the magical things that I do. And um, hold on, I think that's all my sheets. Yeah. So I personally feel like forgiveness comes with forgiving yourself, like I said before. And one thing that you don't want to do is um, forgive someone um, to their face and then uh, keep entertaining that energy because unfortunately forgiveness uh, does not come in the form of our, I'm sorry forgiveness comes in the form of changed action and forgiveness comes in the form of growth personal growth and spiritual growth that's where um, that's where relationships can start to build again and I feel like that's the step that um, people mess up the most and I'll use myself as an example because my ex, um, he united with, you know, my old roommate and uh, the old roommate and the old uh, situationship that I was in that I was explaining earlier. Uh, so he united with them and he went, you know, around town. So did they perpetuating an image of me that was untrue. So when, when all of that happened, um, you know, I was pretty much ostracized in like in in many forms and i was just sort of um put they put a perspective of me around town that i was a bad per that i was the bad person and that i was the one who um who was in the wrong and doing all the bad things and, and this and that and, and everything so one thing i had to do was forgive myself for not only entertaining my ex, but for um, for thinking that he was incapable of being the one to hurt me. So one thing you have to realize is that the people closest to us are the only ones who can hurt us the most. You know, and um, when people who are close to us choose to um, entertain negative energies and entertain. Um, like just this, uh, this negative behavior, and then you forgive them. It's not necessarily, um, it's not necessarily changed on their part. If you understand what I'm saying, because when you when you forgive them for what they did to you, they don't necessarily forgive you for what you did to you know their friend. Their, you know what I'm saying. So it's it's one of those things where you have to forgive from a distance, especially if you're in a relationship, and especially um, uh, from a spiritual aspect of it, because um, 
because one thing you don't know is uh, how certain things affect people uh, because everyone's skin may be thick on certain situations, but not the other. So it's, it's one of those things where, where letting go comes with uh, letting God handle everything. And when you let God handle all your problems, baby, you feel light as a motherfucking feather, okay? Light as a feather. And um, when you forget the um, the injustices that happened to you and forget um, how people treated you, it allows them to continue to walk over you. And that's what I was doing with my ex because he, um, he literally beat it literally beat it in me that I was, um, just a bad person. I was selfish. And then, um, and then I realized, you know, when, once I got some distance away from him that he was really just speaking about himself, but he was, um, pushing that imagery on me and expressing it to the town. So I'm not really like a person who, who really like, you know, I just don't, I just don't talk about people that I've never met to my face. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really like the idea of, I'm not saying like I haven't done it before, but you know, uh, not saying the, uh, I don't really like the idea of, um, of getting people outside of the problem to go along with, um, the bullshit because also I, I am a mystic and I understand karma and I know how it works because when you insert other people into um, drama and um, tell them only one side of the story it it causes them to then have your karma so what you're doing what a lot of people don't realize that they're doing with that is that um, when you spread a rumor about someone and you get people to to tag along you you build up a chain like a chain of karmic a chain of karmic events and when you do that it, it not only creates negative energy for the person that um, is is being uh, attacked it also um, drums up the opportunity for negativity to then spread to every person that you uh, told that negative story to, and that's why that's why I don't really engage in, in like the drama around town. I literally just just don't care. But um, that's another reason why I don't because I am a mystic, and you know it's no it's not really. Uh, like karma is not new, you know what I mean? Karma is, is very instant right now, like I said. It's very, very instant. And one thing you have to realize is that when you entertain other people's drama, let it be your your cousin, your uh your 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 favorite cousin, your your auntie, your um your friend, when you entertain that and they don't tell you the full story, even if they do tell you the full story, when you keep it going you get their karma and I'm keep trying to like reiterate I don't know how many times I gotta fucking say it in this fucking app <laughs> like until people get it one when, when you do that it it spreads and it also affects the person but if that person that um that was uh, spoken about uh does a return to sender spell like I said it's gonna just spread everywhere that's why I keep saying, you know, you have to watch your mouth, you have to watch your words, and you have to watch how you speak on people. Because again, like I said, when I was starting this journey, this mystical journey, this finding myself, this um, this growth and development, I, you know, stay to myself. I've been staying to myself. And another thing I don't I don't do is speak on people I don't know. Not because of fear that they're a, a mystic in disguise, but because I know what karma is and I know how it goes. And one thing about karma is that it does not pay, play favorites. It will always get you and it is always on its way. That's just, just what it is. So with, with forgiveness and using your magic incorporated into it, you have to do the self-healing. You have to bring the healing vibrations in as you release the negative energy out because one thing you don't want to do is just release all the negative energy and then um have that energetic um the energetic 
placeholder is still in a negative state. So it'll be attracted to more negative energy. So as you release the negative energy from your vessel, you have to call in, um, you know, like abundance, um, prosperity, or even healing, some sort of energy to counteract that because it's been sitting with you for so long. So like I said, with, with forgiveness, it, it comes in phases, it comes in, in waves, it does take time, but it's something that if you do consistently, you will start to, um, you start to notice very quickly that, um, that what used to bother you just doesn't bother you anymore. And I feel like, um, I feel like forgiveness, uh, I'm sorry, I feel like Return to senders and self-love and healing uh, work really go hand in hand. They really do. Because like I said, once that negative energy gets released and it goes back to the people who sent it to you, you have to bring a different higher vibration in so that negative energy does not seep its way back into your, um, into your aura, into your vessel. So this is just like a this is just like a quick info about um, forgiveness. I'm going to get off of here. I'm probably going to do some tarot later, but um, yeah, I'm just going to keep y'all posted. And hopefully, you are happy and loving this Lionsgate energy and enjoying your healing journey as well. Okay, bye, you guys.